Concerned about your city water? Want to have it tested? In this video, I'll show you exactly what you need to do, where you need to go, explain the testing process from beginning to the end when you have your city water tested. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. The only way you truly know what you need to do to get your water fixed for your family is by having it tested first. During this video, I'll highlight common water sampling mistakes the folks at the lab warned us about that many folks make when getting their water tested to make sure you avoid them. I definitely encourage you to watch for those pro tips. And be sure you watch this video right to the end because I'm going to share with you step by step what you need to do to submit a sample to be tested, how to interpret the test results and use them to determine exactly what is needed to fix your water for your family. Go to tapscore.com. They offer free shipping of the test kits both ways. They have a number of tests for every situation with super easy to follow instructions. Also, they have a network of labs. So your shipping label is customized to your location and test kit for optimal speedy service. Once you go to their website, you may see a pop-up appear. If you're in Canada, like I am, typically a pop-up appears, but if not, you can just continue on. And then you can see the different tests they have your city water, well water, rain water, spring water. And uh, in this case, we're doing city water. And you can see the different city water tests. In most cases, all you're gonna need is the essential city water test. That's the one that we're gonna be doing here today. And, uh, and if you wanna see some more information about what's actually included in that essential city water test, you can go down here where it says see full list, click on that. And then this whole list of uh, stuff comes up that shows you exactly what they're testing for. And uh, so some of the things you need to make sure that you need to get tested for is total dissolved solids, the pH of the water, uh, nitrates that come from fertilizers, alkalinity, um, iron is here, lead is here, manganese is here. Scroll down further, you can see fluoride is here, hardness is here, the amount of sodium in your water, magnesium. It gives you it, it, the hardness in grains per gallon and uh, it also tells you total chlorine. Now keep in mind the more complex the test the more it costs but unless you have a very unique situation of something specific that you want to have tested for to fix your water to protect your family you really just need to know the, the basics. Which leads us to pro tip number one. Make sure you check out the list of what each test includes to make sure what you're looking to have your water tested for is included in the test that you purchase. Pro tip number two. Be sure to stay away from choosing trendy contaminants over the core kits. The core kits were designed with contaminant prevalence, health risk, and budget in mind. Keep in mind that from time to time, people get really concerned over single con contaminants, um, like Roundup in their water or things like that, or pharmaceuticals in their water, instead of looking at the big picture. Just because something is showing up in your newsfeed doesn't mean that it's in your water. Pro tip number three. Not reaching out to the Simple Lab team if you're unsure before ordering. Their customer service is world class. If you're confused, they can help identify the right kit for you before you order. But keep in mind, for nine out of 10 customers, it's one of the core kits. All right, step one, plan ahead. So you need to check out the contents of the box that the uh, test kit uh, comes. So open it up and check inside. So one of the first things you'll notice inside is you'll notice this, it's a freezer pack. And so what you need to do is you need to freeze this for at least six hours before you uh, submit your sample. Then follow the link in the email they sent you to set up your Simple Lab account. And when you open the test kit box, you're gonna see this guide here. And when you open up the guide, you'll see there's a whole bunch of information in here. So it's gonna tell you the essential water test and it's gonna go over uh, what you need to do to plan ahead. And it's got this card in here that's going to um, identify you and your test kit that it's for you when you send it back to the lab. So you're gonna make sure you need to do that. And there's some uh, information card here too that you're also gonna to have to fill out and submit with your water sample. And then, like I say, the guide has a lot more information. And of course, there's the containers that you're gonna be filling. Now you can hear something rattling around in here. That's supposed to be in there. So whatever you do, you don't wanna wash out these containers and you wanna make sure that you don't open them until you're actually ready to take the water sample. Each container tests for different contaminants and all such results are displayed on a single report. So read all the instructions before you begin. Which brings us to pro tip number four, forgetting to include the frozen element with your sample. The lab told me they've had people that just drop that uh, freezer bag into the, the sample before they ship it out, but they don't actually freeze it first. They gotta freeze it first. And you gotta make sure that you mail the sample soon after collecting it. So plan ahead. Pro tip number five, poor preparation. 
Make sure you wash your hands before sampling with warm soapy water. You want to avoid the possibility of coliform cross-contamination during sampling. Paying extra attention to where you put your hands and fingers is crucial during the sampling process. Also be sure to fill the containers from the same location. Remove any aerators from your faucet if possible. You might choose to take the water sample from a bathtub faucet as they don't have an aerator. Keep in mind that you'll be sampling the cold water only. Use a low water flow in filling the containers. Do not rinse out the containers or their lids. Start sampling. So keep in mind the large bottle, first draw is recommended and you're going to be filling up to the shoulder. So what that means is you need to collect the sample after the water has been stagnant in the pipes for six or more hours. That water in the sample will have had time to interact with your plumbing and may reveal plumbing related issues. Collect the sample as soon as uh, water flows from the tap. Small bottle, fully flush recommended. Fill to just below the top. Run the water for five minutes, then collect the sample. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to do the large bottle first and the small bottle second. This will help reflect the quality of the water as it comes directly from the source. Pro tip number six, incorrect water level in sampling containers. This is particularly important for volatile contaminants. The lab specifies to have no air bubbles in the sample and fill the container to the very top for a reason with those samples. Even the smallest air bubble in the container means volatile organic chemicals or VOCs could evaporate during transit. For other containers like heavy metals, it's important to fill the container to the shoulder. Too little and the lab might not have enough water. Too much and it might mean trouble during the testing at the lab. Which brings us to pro tip number seven, sampling info. Make sure you complete the following. Sign into your account, gosimplelabs.com, sign in and complete your information. Where can you find your order number and report ID? It's in your welcome email. Select the report ID, click the sample info and complete all the fields. So if you go back to your um, welcome email that you received, um, in that it has your TAP score ID number, uh, what kind of a test you had, essential water test, and from here you can click this button in the middle, open report dashboard. And that'll take you right to the account that you had set up initially with, um, tap score or simple labs and then uh, here's where you submit the information so it 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 again confirms your your number here and it talks about the test that you had the time to sample sampling instructions if you need those instructions the di digitally and sample information needed so you need to fill out this information here so you need to put in your address the sampling location was it a sink was it a laundry sink was it a bathtub and the date and the time the hour who who did the sampling the water source, and again, if you're on a private well or if you're on city water, water utility would be city water. And then, um, and then you give them some more information. Is this an untreated sample? Do you have any filters whatsoever? Or that it was a uh, filtered water because maybe you've got a water softener or something like that. And then uh, essential water test. And from there, you can choose a sampling method. First draw, fully flushed. We talked about that earlier. They're just confirming to make sure how you actually did it. And then they're asking you about aesthetic issues. Water has a strange taste or no taste. Um, smell has color in it and water affects your skin or hair. And, uh, and then from there, they're gonna say, are you seeing signs of scaling? Um, do you see signs of corrosion, etc.? And then from there, you would submit that information, your plumbing age and that kind of thing. And then they would know what to expect when your water sample arrives so they can compare the two and they can help you zero in on any concerns your family specifically has about your water. Make sure you complete the paper sample information card and return it with your sample. And pro tip number eight, shipping to the lab. Place the frozen cold pack on the sample bottle. Take the sample to your post office. Use the prepaid shipping label to ship it back to TAPSCORE. When will my TAPSCORE report be ready? Well, it typically takes anywhere from three to 14 business days, depending on where the, the, your testing location is and of course where you're located. Pro tip number nine, reviewing your results. For city water, you'll be most concerned about two things in general, household water for washing clothes, bathing, cooking, and cleaning in general. You'll be looking at hardness and chlorine or chloramine levels. For drinking water, you'll look at the same things, but you'll also look for any warnings that have to do with lead, sodium, arsenic, and whatever else tapscore.com flags for you. Once your water analysis is complete, you just go into your email and you go here where it says open report dashboard, and that'll take you right to your account on Simple Lab. And, uh, and then you, you'll see the, the test result here. So the first thing you see is this overall score here. In this case, it was 73 out of 99, which is a little below average, but you'll see all these tabs across the top here. 
and you'll see these tabs down the side here. And if you scroll down on the overview tab, you can watch a great video on uh, getting the most out of your uh, lab water test results. And scrolling down a little bit further, there's another video on how to share the report to us so we can put together a water treatment recommendation for your family. Then going up here, you can click all results and then you can see the different results here. Now there's some great information here. You can learn more about these results. So you can see that uh, some of the alerts are highlighted here in orange. The ones that are in blue are not a concern. But you can see in our case here, there's concern about uranium, arsenic, and lead. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you can see some more results. You can see our pH here sodium content, which is quite high at 32 parts per million. On the right-hand side near the top, see additional information. You can change it from alerts to treatment technologies. So this gives you some idea about the different treatment te technologies that can be used to resolve these concerns. So you can see in this particular instance here, reverse osmosis is the one. And if you click on that, you can see, but it also does arsenic, lead, all these other things. And then again, if you click on arsenic, you'll see that there's a couple extra ones, the reverse osmosis. And again, if you click over here on lead, again, reverse osmosis. So you can see reverse osmosis is one that we definitely be looking at here. And if you click on the health tab over here on the left, you can read more about the rest of the results and how they can impact your family's health. Then if you click the plumbing tab over here and scroll down, you can see some information about how it's going to affect the plumbing. So you can see one of the big things that come up here is about the hardness. So our total hardness here is 225 parts per million, which is 13.2 grains per gallon, which is telling us the water is very hard. And then if you scroll down to next steps, you can see information about sharing the report with us. So in our case here, we need a reverse osmosis drinking water system to get rid of the arsenic, the uranium, the lead, and also reduce that sodium content in our water. And we need a water softener to soften the water in our whole house. And if you're looking for our personalized water filtration suggestions for your family, once you receive the results, you can email from us at info at watereastore.com. And with those lab results, we're gonna be looking for some specific information about your situation, how many people in your household, that kind of information. So we got a great form you can fill out on our website. You can either go to watereastore.com in the US, watereastore.ca in Canada. Once you get there, then if you go to the top and you can see if you, if you hover up here, you can see this comes up available here. So click on that and it takes you to our free water test evaluation page. And if you scroll down through that page, you'll see down here, water information form. So we'd like you to get, get you to fill that form out, fill out all the information and then press submit. And that'll be submitted to us. And from there, we can make some specific recommendations for your family. In the meantime, click this link to check out what a complete city water filtration system could consist of if you needed everything. And I'll see you there.